Welcome friends to Global Trends and Cycles and another video in my series on Mars retrograde. Mars is vitally important for China's leader Xi Jinping in 2022 and into 2023. Mars goes retrograde on October 31st at 25 degrees Gemini, conjunct Xi's natal sun, 23 degrees Gemini, and his progressed Jupiter, 22 Gemini. This will activate the qualities of his natal Mars, which is in its fall at zero degrees Cancer and widely conjunct his Gemini sun. His Sun-Mars conjunction indicates that he actively pursues whatever he wants. But with Mars in its fall, he may hesitate at times, perhaps relying on his Gemini influence to strategically wait until the time is right to act. His natal Mars is out of bounds. If you've ever dealt with someone with natal Mars out of bounds, then you know what this means. These are people who hold total conviction that society's norms and rules do not apply to them. This is a Mars with a tendency to holding resentments and punishing those whom he feels have wronged him or are blocking him. He shares this astrological trait with his best frenemy, Valdemar Putin, who also has Mars out of bounds. Should the relationship ever go sour, and it probably will, things could get rather nasty. But this Mars retrograde in 2022 will bring out Xi's ruthless qualities as he pushes too hard for what he wants, alienating those who have previously supported him. This is a period in which he runs roughshod over many people, both enemies and allies, creating much resentment in his wake. Furthermore, Xi's natal chart has Mercury out of bounds also, and Mercury is parallel Mars. In 2022 into 2023, these two planets are both parallel and conjunct by progression, though they are no longer out of bounds. This indicates keen perception and a sharp tongue, and gives extreme nervous energy which must find an outlet. It will be very hard for Xi to restrain himself from retaliating if he feels betrayed or wronged. And betrayal is quite probable. Transiting Neptune is in his sunrise 10th house and is in close orb of squaring his natal sun and progress Jupiter from early 2021 through spring 2023 making him overly confident that he can control others. This may affect his plans to rule China until his death. Note that Taurus rules his sunrise 12th house and his natal moon at two degrees Leo as calculated for sunrise. So unless he was born in the first half hour after midnight on June 15th, his moon is in Leo. The moon squares natal Venus, 8 degrees Taurus, and natal Hades, 2 degrees Taurus. He can be crude at being, but as Taurus Venus rules his sunrise 12th house, his reliance on pressuring others can be his undoing. Transiting Mars goes direct at 8 degrees Gemini on January 13, 2023, Beijing time, conjunct his natal Jupiter, also 8 degrees Gemini. So his chart is hit directly by both the retrograde and direct station positions of Mars. There is also a grand trine of transiting Saturn in Aquarius to his natal Sun and natal Saturn-Neptune conjunction in Libra on the same day. As Saturn at this time is conjunct Russia's natal descendant 25 degrees Aquarius, he may also be deepening ties with that country, especially with respect to surveillance, intelligence gathering, and propaganda. Mars going direct on his natal Jupiter 
which rules the sign Pisces, which is intercepted in the 10th, probably foretells that he will be granted a third term. But he has powerful and sneaky enemies, some whom he's unaware of. So being granted indefinite rule until he decides to step down or dies is looking shaky. She's chart in 2022 also has progressed Jupiter and Pluto parallel, which reinforces his natal Sun-Pluto parallel, which is exact. Progressed Jupiter in 2022 is at 22 degrees Gemini by longitude, so it conjoins his natal Sun at 23 Gemini. These configurations are another indication that he will at least secure a third term. Normally, I would say that the progressed Jupiter-Pluto parallel gives him a good chance of pushing his way into leader for life. And although other aspects over the next year and a half indicate that he may be granted it, he will lose the fight to retain it. His push for absolute power leads to a showdown within the Chinese Communist Party. September through mid-November 2022 is a time of vulnerability and yet high visibility for Xi, as transiting Neptune, 23 degrees Pisces, is exactly squaring his natal sun in Gemini. And Mars conjoins his natal sun in the same time period. Things look favorable for him until October 29th, but then the tide turns and something goes very wrong between October 29th and November 9th. He is probably awarded a third term at this time, but it's very unlikely he is made leader for life at this same time, as transiting Jupiter, one degrees Aries, is square his natal Mars, zero degrees Cancer. Someone who was a friend and ally may turn against him. At the very least, professional allies are unreliable at this time. Note also that the Mars-Uranus North Node triple conjunction of August 2nd, Beijing time, at 18 degrees Taurus, is in an applying semi-square to his natal Mars zero degrees Cancer that the aspect is applying, gives it an 11th house influence, and it involves Mars, which rules the Aries cusp of his sunrise 11th house of friends, professional colleagues, hopes, and wishes. This is also inauspicious for him gaining his wish of being officially acknowledged as China's supreme leader for life. On October 31st, transiting Mars goes retrograde, conjunct Xi's natal sun. Transiting Jupiter is retrograde and has just moved back into Pisces, his 10th house. Transiting Neptune, 22 degrees Pisces. And retrograde forms a yod with his natal Pluto, 21 degrees Leo, and natal Neptune, 21 degrees Libra, with both co-rulers of his Pisces 10th house in the 10th house, it would seem he is at a time of triumph. But he has powerful enemies who suddenly decide to flex their power at this time, as transiting Saturn has just gone direct one week earlier, opposing his natal Pluto and they form a T-square with transiting Uranus in his sunrise 12th house of self-sabotage and secret enemies. Mars going retrograde on his natal sun indicates a whipsaw event. She is granted his third term, but his desire from some sort of party declaration that he is supreme leader for life is not explicitly granted at this time and he is now wading through quicksand. Mars spends its retrograde motion moving backward from the position of his natal sun, so there could be dangerous 
backstage maneuvering of which he is unaware. Frenemies abound for him at this time. But when Mars returns to direct motion at 8 degrees Gemini, right on his natal Jupiter, the ruler of his sunrise seventh house of allies and open entities, she becomes aware of his opponent's maneuvering. The positions of Saturn and Neptune at this time and how they interact with the planets in Xi's chart reveal events that will lead up to what happens under the Saturn-Neptune conjunction at zero degrees Aries in 2026. This conjunction will square Xi's natal bars at zero degrees Cancer. As he is likely to be granted a third term under those configurations of a yod and a t-square, these do not bode well for how that third term will go. His third term is fraught with setbacks and deceit, endangering his plans to be declared leader for life of China. In 2026, he will be about a year and a half away from the next party Congress that takes place in the fall of 2027. By then, transiting Pluto will be in the early degrees of Aquarius, opposing his natal moon in Leo, indicating overwhelming opposition to his grip on power. For she, Mars retrograde in 2022 is a case of be careful what you wish for. His being granted a third term will ignite a battle within the Chinese Communist Party, with officials taking sides supporting or opposing Xi's rule. Let's take a look at two charts for the founding of the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP. One for July 1st, 1921, which is celebrated as the founding date, and the other for July 23rd, 1921, which is said to be the actual founding date. In the July 1st, 1921 chart for the CCP, transiting Mars makes its direct station at eight degrees Gemini, midway between this chart's Mars, eight degrees Cancer, and Moon, eight degrees Taurus. Thus transiting Mars spends several months within the 30 degrees behind this chart's Mars in a 12th house position relative to it. That natal Cancer Mars is conjunct both the Sun and Pluto, also at eight degrees Cancer. This is another indication there is nefarious activity going on that the leader of the CCP Mr. Xi is unaware of, but Mars returning to direct motion could enlighten him about this treachery. Looking at the July 23rd, 1921 chart for the CCP, the leader of the party, represented by the Sun, does have the favorable aspect of a trine from transiting Jupiter 29 degrees Pisces in late October 2022. But this chart reveals a drawn out power struggle that has been intensifying for several years. Remember that the 2020 Saturn-Pluto conjunction occurred at 22 degrees Capricorn, opposing the natal Mars 22 degrees Cancer of this chart, another indication that a very nasty standoff is brewing. The opposition of Pluto to the CCP natal sun, which is forming now, indicates powerful and determined resistance to handing Xi ultimate power for his lifetime. This opposition is in orb now and will continue to be so into 2024. This resistance will only increase as the aspect becomes exact in February through July 2023 and again in January 2024. The Saturn-Neptune conjunction of 2026 at zero degrees Aries will trine this chart's natal sun, an indication 
that the winds will have shifted and rule by group consensus will be back in vogue in the Chinese Communist Party in 2027. After transiting Pluto, opposes the CCP natal sun, it moves into Aquarius and passes over China's natal ascendant, one degree, 44 minutes Aquarius, indicating that this internal power struggle within the CCP will transform China. And it won't be a fight closed off from foreign eyes, but will be on display for all the world to see. On January 27th and 28th, 2024, transiting Mercury and Mars, 17 degrees Capricorn, are in conjunct. She's progressed Mercury and Mars, 16, 17 degrees Leo. He definitely faces a sudden situation in which he doesn't know who to trust. At the same time, transiting Saturn in early Pisces has just opposed his progressed sun one degree Virgo, indicating that his career path is blocked. I forecast that she experiences a major betrayal in this January 2024 time period. But this betrayal has been brewing and gaining intensity since late 2021 under the Venus retrograde in Capricorn. This is confirmed by the configurations to China's chart in the same January 2024 time period. The transiting Mercury-Mars conjunction squares progressed Neptune 17 degrees Libra and transiting Neptune 25 degrees Pisces opposes progressed Mars 25 degrees Virgo. As Scorpio Mars rules the midheaven of China's natal chart, these configurations indicate deception and betrayal that directly involves the country's leader. The progressed moon, 12 degrees Libra, is about to conjoin natal Mercury and natal Neptune. Cancer moon rules the sixth house of the military and ser civil servants in this chart. Because of the parallel of Jupiter and Pluto, which aligns with Xi's natal parallel of the Sun and Pluto, I forecast that he will seem to be on track to receive a lifelong position of supreme leadership, with announcements following the Party Congress in the fall of 2022 strongly implying that he will soon be granted this. But then he makes a blunder. The typical overreaching reaction induced by Barr's retrograde. His reaction could undo all his careful groundwork to be named leader for life. Thank you for stopping by today. I hope this video gave you useful insights into what lies ahead for China's leadership. Please subscribe and check out my other videos on Mars retrograde and other topics. Bye for now.